Mac for uh, for uh, you know getting the win in overtime, and they were a little bit short staffed there with losing a player early in the game. And I thought um, you know once in that second after we were down two nothing after two, they're a tough team to, to play against. They got very good goaltending, and they you know they pack it in really tight at the net, and they mug you, and it's hard to get any open space around their net. And I like the way that you know we we came back and, and you know, got two goals and. Uh, I thought we stuck to our game plan pretty well, um, and um, you know, and then we hit the crossbar in overtime, and they came back, and their, their kid made, made a hell of a shot, and you know, and, and they won the game. And uh, we knew it was going to be this type of game. They're, uh, you know, they compete, they battle, they work, um, you know, and, and they pack the, in front of that net, their net, and they've got a real, real good goaltender, so it's it's hard to get pucks through, and um, and you know, we got to bounce back tomorrow. Uh, we're down one nothing. We got to win two in this series, and so uh, we've been in this situation last year, and we came back and, uh, and beat UNH uh, in game two. So that's we're just focused right now on game two and and uh, coming back in this building tomorrow and, and you know playing like we played in the third period for an entire game. Tell me that power play time early in the game, eight minutes forty seconds straight, just about. What, yeah. what did you need to do? Yeah, we were just we were, we just lacked that, that you know as we we're moving it around it just um, you know we, we just couldn't get it cleanly on a stick when we had a good when we moved around and you know and got to the the, the scoring opportunity we just you know, we, we either shot it wide or, or we bobbled the last second and um, you know and then the five on three I, I thought we, I think it was forty seconds that we um, had a couple of looks and. Um, we got to get more traffic in front of the in front of the goalie. In the first period, I didn't think we did a good job of traffic in front, and I thought we got better as the game went along. Uh, but certainly, um, that gave them a little momentum because they killed off so many. I actually thought we could have even gone on the power play a little more uh, there. Um, but uh, you know, I thought our guys did, did a real good job with our discipline and only getting uh, you know um, I think it was two penalties the whole game. Are you a little concerned with how well they moved the puck on their two chances on the power play? Uh, they moved it really well, and you know they had the puck in our own zone um, for, for for almost both power plays, and you know, we couldn't get the clears we wanted. And we'll have to you know tweak some things there, but uh, they did. They you're absolutely right. They they moved it well. And we couldn't get the clears. There were a couple stretches where you had a bunch of zone time, uh, and the you know second, third, fourth game in a row where you had. Shifts where you're in, you're just in the attacking zone, a minute and a half or whatever. But tonight it didn't seem like you were getting as many shot attempts off when that was happening. Did, was that something they were doing or just? It's hard to go through arms and legs and, and clutching and grabbing and sticks and everything. So our guys were working at it, but it's hard to get through that. So you know they do a good job packing it down low too and condensing it down low. So um, you know they're they're good at that. And so um, you know, we just have to find a way to keep our feet moving and. Uh, and credit them too for you know the way they play defense. Did you know what they were reviewing at the end? Or yeah, they were reviewing our, our our shot, which hit the crossbar, and the, the, some, there was a thought that maybe ours went in, and the referee was right on and made the right call. Initially, you can see him that he waved it off, and uh, so it came off the crossbar, jumped over you know Sashman's stick, and then the you know, puck you know came back down the other way on a, on a two on one, and uh, and their their team made a hell of a nice shot. And, you know, we got the game on the goal. Zach had another, you know, kind of important goal to get kind of get your comeback going. He, he seems to have a lot of, you know, big goals or at mm -hmm. least goals in important times for you guys. Sure. Yeah, that was a huge goal to get us back in the game. You know, um, <laughs> down two nothing. Uh, you know, and, and to get into that life and break, you know, break the uh, ice a little bit. And Tiernan is, is, as I said before, a very good goaltender. So it got some life, and then we you know, got the power play goal on top of it. So, um, you know. We got it to two, and you know when you're down two nothing going in the third, and you tied up, you're you're happy with that. I thought we had some good momentum, uh, you know, going in overtime, and then we get the power play on top of it right away, and a couple of good looks, and we just you know, couldn't finish it off. And as I said, credit to Merrimack, they made the plays when they needed to, and particularly in the overtime.